In the competitive game, there are many ways to gain an advantage on the opposition. All players have their strengths and weaknesses, so a key skill is assessing these facets of your opponent's play and using that knowledge to the best advantage. The skill of jack placement can be vital to the consistency at which each team will bowl. If a team is being beaten on long ends, a short end thrown can often put the opposition off their stride and allow the other team to get back in the game. Bowlers will often have a favoured hand, either forehand or backhand. The ability to force a player onto their weaker hand can have a winning outcome. The ability for a lead to hide the jack with their first bowl, that is, to rest just in front of the jack but not touching it, is a good ploy. If the next bowler cannot view the jack, this can be a psychological disadvantage. To counter this ploy, the experienced player will still look to draw between the obscure jack and the front bowl. Where two of the opponent's bowls are covering the direct path to the jack, a player may elect to split the obstructing bowls and run through to the jack beyond. The ability to speed up or slow down a game can have a detrimental effect on the opposing team. Players generally play the game at their pace. Confident bowlers often have the ability to play the game quicker than someone who can only see the game one or two shots ahead. However, time wasting is frowned upon under the rules of fair play. In representative play, the mix of team and individual performances will decide the winner on the day. It's important for a bowler not to carry a loss through to their next game. This requires individual mental discipline and a positive attitude. Many bowlers will beat themselves before they get on the mat, if they believe their opposition are better than they are. Even the best bowlers will lose as many games as they win, so on the day, everyone is beatable. It's important for every team member to maintain a positive attitude. One negative thinking player can easily pull a team down. At top rep level, general fitness is required to maintain stamina and concentration. A two-day rep event will often leave the athlete completely drained at the end of the competition. Good nutrition also plays a vital part in the performance. Drawing shots with last bowls when there is no danger can still be vital. Players tend to relax when holding shots and consequently often fail to make the last bowl count. Endeavour to play it as though a win is needed. How many times has a game been lost by a single point on the final end when a last shot squandered on an earlier end may have made a difference? Develop that killer instinct. A psychological advantage can be an asset. Recognise when the head is being built up against you. Don't leave it until it's too late with only one bowl to go. Move some bowls out of the way or get the jack out in the open. In cases where it is dangerous to go for a win with a real possibility of giving the game away, it's often best to take the draw and remain on even terms. This is one of the few sports that can be enjoyed equally by all genders, ages and physiques, whether for social pleasure or in the competitive environment. Whatever your goals are and wherever you are in the country, there's an affiliated club nearby with members and coaches able and willing to introduce you to the sport of indoor bowls.